far back as I can remember, I have always had a love for art. Most of my high school career was even in the art room. I did study some art in college, but my love for painting really began when I painted my first mural when I was 17. Uh, since then, I've painted over 200 murals in kids' bedrooms, and a little over three years ago, I did my first painting party with some close friends. I didn't mean to start a business, but one thing led to another, and now I own my own business doing private painting lessons, painting parties, murals, and customized canvas. After three years, I'm happy to say that I have painted with over 3,000 people. Hi guys, I'm excited to get painting with you today. So the first thing that I wanted to talk to you about before we get started is to make sure that you have everything ready that you'll need for painting, okay? So right now I've got my water cup filled with water, I've got my paper towel, I have my three brushes, I've got my pencil for sketching, I've got all of my colors on my plate. Notice that I don't have a ton of each color. I can always add more, but you don't want to waste, so you want to use smaller amount at first, and then you can always add more, okay? And then I've got my canvas, so I'm ready to go. I also wanted to point out that I don't have my favorite shirt on, so just in case anything crazy happens, I'm not going to lose a favorite shirt here. So you can either wear an apron, you can wear your old clothes, whatever you want to do. But if you do get something on you, make sure to have mom or dad help you scrub it out as quickly as possible just to make sure that we don't ruin it, okay? And then also, the surface that you're working on is important. Make sure that it's on a table that you're allowed to paint on. And if it's a table that needs to be covered, make sure you've got it covered, okay? Last thing, don't forget to watch those tips and tricks to make sure that this is the most successful painting that you can do. 